This is the Dolphin Nautilus CC. Is it a smart value or an outdated stripped down model? Hey there and welcome back to The Pool Nerd. I'm Justin, your resident pool aficionado. Today I'm talking about the Dolphin Nautilus CC from Matronics. This robot is one of the most popular budget models of Matronics Nautilus line. With the Nautilus CC's price starting at $649, it may seem like a great choice, but don't be fooled. It lacks a ton of key features that pool owners need to have, especially in an in-ground pool. It comes with the standard fine filter, power supply, manual, and the unit itself. The Nautilus CC is built for small pools up to 33 feet in length. It was super easy to set up and get started. I just plugged it in and it was ready to go. The Nautilus CC did a good job at cleaning the pool floors and the lower parts of the wall. It was lackluster on the upper part of the wall and it doesn't clean the water line at all. While it does have wall climbing as a feature, it's missing the key feature of water line scrubbing. While a wall climbing cleaner like the Nautilus CC will reach the walls, it will not reach and scrub the water line. A robotic pool cleaner like the Dolphin Premier is a water line cleaning pro. It's the best water line cleaner I've ever seen. Look as my Premier scrubs away the water line. The Nautilus CC will simply bounce off the water line if it reaches it at all. This is where most of the bacteria, algae, and debris is in your pool. Water line cleaning is a feature the Nautilus CC really should have had at this price, and I'm disappointed not to see it. Next, the Nautilus CC does have this standard fine filter basket. While it looks similar to the filter basket found on the Dolphin Quantum, it's really not. The Quantum comes with another filter media option, the Ultra Fine Filter. This filter allows the Quantum to clean particles around two microns. If you have a lot of leaves in your pool, I would recommend the Dolphin Premier. The Premier has a multimedia filtration with four different filter options to choose from. The Standard Fine Filter, the Ultra Fine Filter, the optional disposable debris bag, and my personal favorite, the oversized leaf bag. The leaf bag can hold a large amount of leaves, twigs, and debris. It does have the weekly timer, which I really loved. But without an anti-tangle swivel, I was left to manually untangle the cord after nearly every cleaning, which is a major hassle and nearly defeats the purpose of the weekly timer. It would get tangled up after almost every cleaning. The anti-tangle swivel is a feature found in units like the Dolphin Quantum and the Dolphin Premier. While the unit does cost a little bit more, I would much rather pay the premium so I don't have to go out and untangle the cord after every cleaning, especially in my in-ground pool. The coverage of the unit is average, and if your pool is large, the Nautilus CC won't be able to cover all the pool, so you'd be better off looking for other units. It vacuumed medium-sized particles and debris pretty well, but it doesn't have the suction power that you'll find on other units such as the Dolphin Quantum and Dolphin Premier. Okay, so what's my final pool nerd verdict on the Nautilus CC Plus from Matronics? If cleaning the water line and tie line is important to you, then pass on this robot. If picking up large amounts of leaves is important to you, then pass on this robot. If you're investing in a cleaner pool, you're better off paying a few hundred dollars more for a robotic pool cleaner with better features, multiple media types, and more. The Nautilus CC is a good unit, but you're going to miss key features. With no waterline cleaning, you're gonna to need to scrub the waterline of your pool. And with only one small filter option, you're left with no options to ensure a deep clean because it'll miss small particles and larger items such as leaves and twigs. With a two-year warranty, you're missing out on a whole year of coverage that you may need when compared with the Dolphin Premier's three-year warranty. That's a 33% difference. If you have to buy a motor or a power supply, you could be looking at $300 or $400. A full extra year of warranty is worth at least $200 alone. If you want to keep nerding out over your pool, be sure to hit that subscribe button to keep learning how to make pool maintenance way easier. Head over to thepoolnerd.com to view my comparison page and see all the differences between the many robotic pool cleaners out there. Until then, enjoy that pool and check back soon for more pool maintenance tips and insights.